a second example. We step down. For the system below, that's this. For the system below, that's this. Find the acceleration and the tension on the stream. For the system below, that's what you have here. Find the acceleration and the tension on the stream. Find the acceleration and the tension on the stream. Alright, so look up this. Look up this. So I said, whichever scenario, whichever scenario, your first focus, which of them is greater mass? Now, in this case, now there is no F1, there is no F2. So at this point here, yeah, do your own assumption. So call anyone M1, call anyone M2 from your own choice. For this now, I am choosing the call for M1. So I'll say, let M1 be equal to 8 kilograms and let M2 be equal to 4 kilograms. Please, your own choice. Choose to call M1 anyone, but define it. You've done that. It's a record. A record. Alright. So what's next here? Look at this. What's next here? I need to find the direction of motion. This this stuff here can move in two ways. Look at can move in two ways. Either this way, like this, call this A, or perhaps this way like this, call this B. Please, what's the direction? A or B? B. Obviously B. Uh, greater mass. So take this one up. Take this one up. I'm putting this direction like this as my bigger mass. Please, always bigger mass direction. So what next? Try to get out. Try to get out um, your free body diagram. Before then, analyze this concept. Listen. Of course, for this one here, yeah, I will have this force coming down like this. Have you? Yeah. This one here yeah, is it M two or M one? M2 or M1? M2. So the force going here should be what there? Something J side theta B. So this one becomes what there? M2 G side theta. That is. What about this one there? It's also coming down this way. So it becomes what there? M1 G side theta. So I'll be good. Are we good? So you have this. Next up, there are ropes or there are strings. So what then? Tension. For this one, look at this. For this one, tension is acting here, right? Yes. That becomes what then? C. For this one, tension acts in opposite direction, right? Yes. So it becomes what then? C. Now listen, listen. Listen. Some lecturers will say, or some authors will say T1, T2. At the end, now say T1 equal to what there? T2. But what's the name? If it's the same, why you can shift them? So I'm using T instead. Alright, let's analyze this. Let's draw free body diagram. Let's draw. Let's draw free body diagram. That's FBD. Draw FBD, free body diagram. Start with your mass M1 for mass M1 for mass M1. Um, this one here. So you have this. We said M1 is this one here, and that's 8 kilogram. The one coming down here is what there? M1G sin theta. The one going up here is what there? Is T. So I have this. Let's get to some of the forces. Let's get the sum of F1. So listen, listen. Let's look up this. Direction is this way. Alright, so between this and this, 
which is going direction? This one here, okay? So it becomes what? That? M1 G sin theta. This one is going in opposite direction, so it becomes what? That? Minus T. But we know that sigma M1 is equal to what? That? M1 A. M1 A. In this value here, yeah, it means that M1 G sin theta minus T. This represents this is equal to M1 A. Call this equation 1. Alright, for my next mass, for mass M2, for mass M2, what have I got? Uh, this one here. Yeah? So I'm having this. This is about 4 kilograms. The one coming here, please, for 4 kilograms here, coming down is what there? Yeah? M2G sin theta going up is what that is T for hours. So let's get some of forces. From here, the sum of force 2 is equal to which is going in the direction, please. Is it M2G sin theta or T? Careful, careful, careful. For mass 2, which is going in my supposed direction? Is it T or M to T? T. Between, hold on, hold on. Let me paraphrase. Hold on. Let me paraphrase. Between M to G and T and T, which of them is moving the body in that direction? T. Huh? Now hang on, hang on, now hang on, relax, 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 see, hang on, get how this will work, that's why I said look at the diagram, please. in this case, this one is bigger than this, so hence it's going what there, this way, question, question, if this one is coming down, this one here, is it going down or up, oh. go up, so for this one here, direction becomes what there, this way, that's it. As uh, this is going down, the yeah, so will be coming up like this, like it's moving like this. That's the concept. So which of them supports the motion? Is it T or this one? T. It's T. So it is T that will move this one up like this. That's the concept. So here's my motion. It's T that moves this way. So this one becomes positive. T minus this one, yeah? M to G. M to G sin theta. Right, but but well, I know that sum of F two is equal to M two A. So bring this mark here yeah? becomes T minus M two G sin theta is equal to M two A. Call this which one? Two. All right. So as usual, move this over here. Yeah? So T from, from 2, from position 2, T is equal to this one here, M to A minus cos silicon plus M to G sin theta. Put this value into this one here. So put T into equation 1. I have this M1G sin theta minus T. T is this one, yeah? M2A plus M2G sin theta is equal to what, there? Yeah? Equal to what? It's M1A, careful. It's equal to M1A. Right. Expand this one, yeah? You're having um, M1G sin theta this and this minus m 2 a minus plus minus m 2 g sin 
theta is equal to m one a. Yeah. From here becomes becomes a uh, m one g sine theta minus m two a minus m two g sine theta is equal to is equal to what m one a. So bring this and this together. So I have m one g sine theta this one here yeah? minus m two g sine theta is equal to this one here yeah? m one a minus comes here yeah? plus m two a. Factorize it from there yeah? becomes m one g sine of theta minus m two g. Sine of theta is equal to m1 plus m2 a. Let's get a from here. From here now, a is equal to simply divide this one by this. So it becomes m1 g sine theta minus m2 g sine theta all over m1. Plus m2. Please now be in good value. M1 is this one, yeah? That gives you 8 into g. 9.8 sine of theta. Theta is 30. So sine 30 minus m2. m2 is 4. Becomes 4 into g. 9.8 into sine. That becomes sine of theta. T30. All over m1 8 plus m2 4. So you have this. Okay, done here. Please give me all of numerator, please. Punch all of numerator. What do you get? Sorry? Is this a 14? 19.6 all over. What is that? Yeah? Let's get tension, please. For tension, please give me just any of the equations, please. Any of them. Uh, yes, what said what? M1G. M1A. Equal to. M1G sin theta minus T. Alright, so let's get T from here. Uh, in good value, M1A, M1 is 8. So 8 times your acceleration, which is this, 1.63. So M1A is equal to M1, 8 into G, 9.8. Sine of theta is 30. So sine 30. Minus t. Multiply what you get there? Sorry? Thirteen point zero four equals to you for English for here. Thirty nine point two this minus t. Thirty nine point two minus t. Move it over here. 13.04 minus 39.2 minus now is equal to 
minus t. Subtract it. What's the value? Minus 26 point 16 equal to. So this cancels a bit. So t is equal to what? Eh? Alright, so let's get to it. So that's your that's how you solve this stuff.